We're told at an early age to not play with our food, but we're here to tell you if people didn't mess about with the stuff that could also end up on your plate, we might not have a lot of interesting things in this world. 18 Surprising Things You Can Make From Food 18. Cars Made From Soybeans Once upon a time, you could find cars that were made from soybeans. Not entirely, as the materials would also consist of hemp. This prototype, soybean car, was produced during the mid-20th century, introduced to the public in 1941. The work of famous scientist and botanist George Washington Carver helped develop the soybean car. Henry Ford commissioned Eugene Turin Gregory of his design department to manufacture an automobile made from agricultural plastic. The project was ultimately abandoned, and it's even said that Bob Gregory destroyed the soybean prototype car. 17. Tableware you can eat, too Imagine eating and then not having to deal with washing the dishes later because you could eat all that, too. That's the idea behind edible tableware. It's not a super new concept, either. Foods like flatbread variations in India, Central America, and Ethiopia use bread as plates and utensils already. In recent years, people had taken edible tableware to the next level, making utensils, cups, and bowls that you can eat from. Like this chocolate mousse cupcake served in a chocolate bowl with chocolate spoons. The brand Lollyware manufactures products such as edible cups and edible straws. Supposedly the first and only edible disposable cup provided in flavors such as matcha, vanilla, cherry, and more. 16. Jelly Bean Mosaics With the size of a jelly bean and the wide array of colors they can be made in, these little candies actually make some of the best mosaic materials out there. This particular mural of Ronald Reagan comes from the work of artist Peter Rocha, made in part to celebrate National Jelly Bean Day. Yep, that's a real thing. It can now be found on display at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library. Other artists, like Kristen Cummings, also make this type of art, with one of her works including replicas of well-known paintings such as Starry Night and Girl with a Pearl Earring. One painting may take up to 12,000 individual jelly beans and a few days to complete. 15. The Meat Dress Or dresses, rather. In this photo, we see Lady Gaga performing on her Born This Way ball tour in a dress made to look like meat, but we all remember the MTV Music Video Awards ceremony back in 2010 where she actually showed up in a dress made of raw beef. It turned into such an event that Lady Gaga's meat dress is now its own Wikipedia page. Fashion designer Frank Fernandez designed the dress, which was then styled by Nicola Formichetti. Lady Gaga wearing the dress created a huge debacle, especially amongst animal rights groups. And just in case you were wondering, Wondering, yes, Lady Gaga even said that the dress smelled like meat. 14. Marzipan Sculptures A lot of the times, if you see a rather cheap marzipan, then it certainly looks like food. But some of the best marzipan art can be quite startling to look at since they can come up very plastic-like. Sculpting figures from marzipan really is an art, as different candy artists have shown you can do a lot with this confection made of ground almonds. Marzipan art usually consists of candy made to look like fruits, vegetables, or even animals, hands, clothes, and other objects. Places all over the world from different parts of Europe to Asia, the Americas, and the Middle East all implement marzipan into their confections somehow, though its history stems back to either the Mediterranean or China. 13. The Lint Chocolate Dress You know, those round pieces of chocolate that you let melt in your mouth, and when it gets to the center, the liquid just pours out? Yeah, someone made a dress with that. Designer Linka Sirek made the Lindor dress in 2007. This piece of clothing, and food, was said to cost about 3,500 British pounds. This party dress was made by the same person who designed the Duchess of York's wedding dress. To give you some perspective, it consists of 1,000 Lindor chocolate balls from Lint, giving you about 79,000 calories. So if you do buy a dress like this and you do decide to eat it, do so sparingly. 12. The Secret of Shiny Lipstick The makeup industry has always been a thriving market, and in the days of Instagram and YouTube, it's more popular than ever. We also live in an age where people actually look at the ingredients of the things they put in and on their bodies, and some of what you'll find may surprise you. Oftentimes, fish scales will be implemented in lipsticks. Why? Well, where do you think the makeup scientists get that shine to put in lipsticks from? Fish scales emulate the same kind of luminescent shine that pearls do, except for way cheaper. While fish in your makeup might weird some of you out, it also serves as a non-toxic alternative to other harmful things that may be put into other makeup products. 11. Toaster to Canvas 
you might be surprised at the amount of art produced that utilizes toasted bread as a main material. Loads of different artists have made toast art, most of it appearing in the form of gradient murals that use different burn levels of bread to make their masterpieces. Other ways toast can be put to artistic use includes toast sculptures, like how Adam Perry of the UK showcased his sculpting skills as a way to make breakfast a little more exciting. Or you could do what Japanese food artist Aiko Mori does and make adorable motifs of fruit, ice cream, or sushi using toast as her canvas and other foods. 10. Smash Cakes You probably could assume from the word cakes that of course this thing is made of food. But if you didn't know, smash cakes are basically edible piñatas. Amazing, right? It takes the term playing with your food to a different level since you'd be violently demolishing it instead. Called Sydney Smash Cakes, these fortresses of hard chocolate shells hold pieces of your favorite candy inside. A cake you can smash open with an object like a rolling pin. This dessert comes to us by way of Australia, often decorated on the outside with even more candy. They can cost anywhere from over $60 to over $200 and can pack more than a thousand thousand different gummies, chocolates, lollipops, and more into the different sizes of cakes offered. 9. Food That Glitters In the past year, glitter on foods made waves on social media. For some reason, people get drawn to shiny things, even when it comes to the food we put into our bodies. Edible glitter is not the same thing as the glitter you use in arts and crafts, so if that was your hesitance, now you can be rest assured. If you eat a cupcake adorning this sparkling dust, then it was most likely the non-toxic kind. Most of that edible glitter comes from ingredients such as sugar, maltodextrin, acacia, cornstarch, and food coloring. But beware, not all non-toxic glitter is safe for consumption, as some may still be made of plastic. 8. Food-Powered Clocks If you paid attention to science class in elementary school, then you know you could use things like lemons, potatoes, and apples to power a clock. If you've never tried it yourself, it may seem unbelievable and complicated, but you can do the experiment yourself rather easily. Through the process of electrolysis, the acidic elements of lemons and apples help power the clock when it gets connected through either a copper or zinc electrode. While you probably can't keep a fruit-powered clock for long, unless you're willing to always replace the fruit, it's still cool to know how it all works. 7. Potato Jewelry You might not even recognize when a piece of jewelry was made from potatoes since artists can do a really good job of making them look like plastic or stone. Yes, potato jewelry exists. And depending on how well you make your potato beads and pendants, they can last for a few years. Potato beads get coated in acrylic paint and acrylic sealers, ensuring the piece of potato you cut to make a colorful bracelet doesn't rot on the spot. A plus to using potatoes means you can shape the beads to any way you want them to look and paint them any kind of color. 6. Soap That doesn't mean go eat your soap you have chillin' in the bathroom. Soap has been around for a long time, thankfully, and so it shouldn't be shocking that things like milk, beer, fruit, or even maple syrup like these maple syrup bars can be used to make soap. Not only does maple syrup smell good as a soap, but also provides a nice amount of moisture, something that an artificially scented bar of supposed maple soap wouldn't provide on its own. 5. Swiss Army Chocolate Just think of the people you would scare off by whipping out one of these chocolate bars. If they just looked closely, however, they would have seen that it was a foil wrapping over a piece of chocolate, not an actual Swiss Army knife. These candies also hail from Switzerland and were even made in a molding to look like a knife, even when you take the foil off. A pack of six pieces of these cost $27, distributed by Victorinox and made of praline chocolate. 4. Foodscapes We've mentioned some food art earlier on this list, but nothing quite measures up to the way photographer Carl Warner does food art. Warner's known for his projects that he calls foodscapes, wherein he takes any kind of food, from cheese, fish, lollipops, and broccoli, to make his art. The London-based photographer can make entire miniature outdoor landscapes that look surreal, yet real at the same time. The collection of photos got popular upon their release in 2008. 3. Gingerbread Houses We're not just talking about the gingerbread houses you make during the wintertime as a fun activity or for small competitions for school. In Texas, there's an actual house made of gingerbread, the largest in the world. The house took a ton of butter to make. Not just a lot, but we mean a literal ton, along with about 7,200 eggs. The house's calorie count reaches 35.8 million calories over an area of 2,250 square feet. 2. Pumpkin Art 
This stuff makes the stuff you do for Halloween look like child's play. American sculptor Ray Villafane made a name for himself sculpting pumpkins. Not just the typical way you usually do it by buying a kit from the store and spending a few hours in the kitchen carving a pumpkin. Villafane's pumpkin career started when he was teaching art at Bel Air in Michigan. Villafane's pumpkin career started when he was teaching art at Bel Air in Michigan and had to help out for the school's Halloween decorations. Since then, he's been creating elaborate sculptures made from that orange gourd. 1. Music by Vegetables The London Vegetable Orchestra is exactly what it sounds like. Musicians that use vegetables as instruments. Unless you thought it was actual vegetables becoming animated and making their own music. It isn't that. The London Vegetable Orchestra, consisting of humans, takes vegetables such as carrots and eggplants and butternut squash and turns them into flutes, drums, and castanets. Other people around the world use vegetables to make music too, with carrots commonly used since it makes a good wind instrument.